There's times when finesse tactics are the key to getting more bites, but some finesse tactics are best fished vertically and some are best worked along the bottom. So today, I'm gonna to talk about the Nico rig and the Wacky rig. And even though the same tackle is used for each technique, when you rig them differently, you can fish the various situations that you run into out in the water. What's up guys, I'm Travis Moran, and today we're gonna to break down these two techniques, starting with rigging. Setting up these two techniques is extremely important. So let's first start with the Nico rig, where I'm gonna slide the O-ring halfway down the worm. I'm gonna put a nail weight in the head, and then I'm gonna skin hook the hook underneath the O-ring with the hook tip towards the tail. This is gonna keep the bait hopping along the bottom with that nose down and the tail up wiggling along the bottom. All right, next up is the wacky rig, which we're gonna start off with the O-ring rig the same way, halfway down the worm. And then we're gonna put a nail weight, if needed, right in the middle of the worm. And I say if needed, uh, if we want a faster fall or if there's a little breeze that we need to offset with a little heavier presentation. Next, we're gonna put our hook through that small loop on the O-ring. Um, and what this is gonna do is gonna make that bait fall vertically with both tails wiggling on the way down. All right, for both setups, I like an eight to 10 pound mono or fluorocarbon, uh, or if you want, like I'm using today, you can use about a 30 pound braid with a 10 to 12 pound fluoro leader. Now that just makes me feel comfortable around fishing around structure and also gives me more sensitivity. Then I'm using a hybrid spin from Sticks Fishing, which is a seven foot two medium moderate fast action rod that has enough backbone to battle the fish, but the perfect amount of tip to really work that bait and feel those subtle bites. And now let's jump over to retrieval. All right, so now that we know how to rig these baits, let's talk about how to throw them, starting with the wacky rig. We're gonna cast to specific targets and let that bait sink all the way to the bottom, watching our line the entire time for a bite. Once it gets to the bottom, we're gonna lift that rod tip up and give it a little shake and let it fall back down to the bottom. What this bait is doing when it's falling is both ends of that bait are wiggling on the way down and that pulls bass out of the cover and structure that they're in and entices them to come out and eat it. Now, sometimes, uh, or usually they're gonna bite it on that initial fall, but sometimes they'll come out and just nose up to it as it falls down. That's why we're giving it that second little lift and shake so we can hopefully get them to bite on that one. Now one extra note, if you're seeing that you're getting bit on that second lift, try throwing in a third and fourth lift because sometimes these fish are a little sluggish and they need a little bit more enticing to bite. Next up is the Nico rig. What we're gonna do is make full casts across or along our targets and let the bait sink all the way to the bottom. With the rod tip up and semi-tight line, we're gonna shake the rod as we slowly work the bait back. Reel in any excess line and keep shaking. The idea is to keep the bait hopping along the bottom with the head down and the tail up, looking like something that's uh, nose down, searching and really not paying attention to what's going on. And a bass sees an opportunity for an easy meal and they cannot resist. Let's find these fish in location. All right, now let's talk about where to throw these baits. Uh, early morning, low light, fish are scattered. They can be caught on a wide variety of reaction baits and things. But when that sun really starts to come up in the high in the sky, these fish, they're gonna suck up closer to shade from structure or cover, or they're gonna move offshore into deeper water. And that's where these two baits are gonna excel. All right, so this lake here today, I've got uh, all kinds of brush, trees, tulies, all along the bank that come anywhere from 10 feet to 20 feet out here in the water and creates a great line here for these fish to use. And as this sun has come up uh, throughout the day, it's gonna hold these fish back up in these little shade lines. So as I'm working this bait along here, I'm casting uh, to these little targets and I'm letting the bait sink down in front. And now as that bait is wiggling on the way down, it's a great uh, way to get the fish's attention and it's a slow moving little bait so it'll slowly pull that fish out and, and generate hopefully a strike. Now the other thing is, um, I'm taking note, I'm, I wanna try to cast at as many different targets that I see. So right here I'm casting out in front of this tree. Um, my next cast, I'm gonna put one in the shade over here uh, in front of these tulies. And the idea is that I wanna take note to where I'm getting my bites. 
as I fish these different pieces of structure and cover uh, and I maybe get bit out in front of these tules. Um, I want to take note, is it green lush tules or is it the dead overhanging tules that are in? Or is it a tree, a big uh, a tree? And, and the more I put together those little details, the more that I can go run that pattern throughout the lake. So if I'm getting bit out in front of trees like this, then um, I wanna either go target more of those trees, or when I get to another tree along the bank, I wanna spend a little bit more time fishing that. Now for the Nico rig, I can uh, target some of these high percentage deeper offshore spots, uh, like the point that I'm fishing right here, or some nice little flats, um, you know, different areas that are gonna hold these fish uh, later in the day when they're a little bit more sluggish and they need to be enticed with a little bit more of a finesse technique. So what I'm doing is I'll change the angles of my cast. Uh, the first cast I made up a little bit shallower on this point. The next one was out from deep to shallow. And now I've moved out a little bit deeper and I'm casting another one right across. Um, I'll play with the different angles and see what uh, helps me keep this bait along the bottom and really present it uh, the most efficiently. When it comes to finesse techniques, understanding the different rigging options to fit the conditions you're fishing are a huge key to help you continuously adapt and keep catching fish. Having the terminal tackle for the Wacky Rig and the Nico Rig are keys to being prepared. Well, I hope this video helps you put more fish in the boat this season. If you like these videos, make sure you leave a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. Once again, I'm Travis Moran, and I'll catch you out of the water.